Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, HKHR2, bringing you guys another video of some late Tunnel 8 gameplay. So, yep, only three days, 14 hours left on our town hall to level 9. But what's big is the new update for Clash of Clans. Yes, the July 2015 update is out, people, live, and it is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Okay, so first we have this new training screen, uh, so you can, like, now train your troops so much better. And you can now queue up spells, so my spell factory is already full. And now I can also queue up more spells. And actually, here's a big thing, the dark spell factory, in case you haven't heard about that. Yep, people, so let's just go into the news over here. So, um, yep, the dark spell factory is here with three new spells. And the dragon level 5 uh, is there for tunnel 10. And a second air sweeper is there for tunnel 9, so... Dang it, I'm going to have to upgrade another air sweeper at Tunnel 9, but oh well. And new leagues are here for the high levels, like the Legend League and the Titan League. So the Legend League is for 5,000 trophies and above, um, as we can see down here. But anyways, we'll get to that in a second. So um, Dark Elixir spells now, that is amazing. This is going to be game changing. You have the Poison spell, the Earthquake spell, and the Haste spell. I'll explain the entire update like in a much more in-depth, with some more in-depth clips in like a minute. Um, this is just a quick overview. And yep, the new leagues. This is going to be epic. Um, we can now, uh, there's, it's for 5,000 trophies and above. And it's a new challenge for the top players. Um, and each tournament resets the legend league people to 5,000 trophies and converts extra trophies into permanent legend trophies. I'll explain all of this in a minute with some more in depth developer footage, okay? And other improvements, game balancing, training times in the spell factory have been reduced. That's awesome. And you can queue up spells. Awesome. And now, best, no more zapping in Clash of Clans. Yes, all resource storages are now immune to all direct spell damage. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. <clears throat> and the Barbarian Archer Dragon and P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. training costs are adjusted. The P.E.K.K.A. and Dragon got reduced, the Barbarian and Archer got increased, unfortunately. And many buildings have more hit points now. And AI improvements, yes, another big yes. Troops and heroes are less likely to target walls unnecessarily. The best words, the best four words there, though, are even the Archer Queen. Yes, perfect. Just in time for me to get down all night and get that Archer Queen. She is going to be smart. Um, troops and heroes will not continue bashing through the walls to get to a destroyed target. So say your king's banging on a wall, and then a wizard destroys the thing behind the wall. The king won't keep bashing on that wall. He'll move on to something else. That's so much more smarter. And wall breakers will now uh, not retarget towards unnecessary walls when deployed in groups. And fixed rare cases where defending heroes or defenses might get stuck and not attack. Never heard of that, but that's cool. <laughs> And uh, more interface improvements now, Arabic and traditional Chinese languages are now supported. And uh, you can now filter offensive clan chat uh, by enabling the clan chat filter in the settings. It's cool in case your clan is swears a lot. <laughs> um, and quick tabs have been added to training views to make cycling between buildings easier. I'll show you guys right here. So yeah, you can cycle between stuff much faster. That's pretty much it for the interface improvements. Uh, and yeah, the army overview, it's kind of like that clan war check page um, that they introduced like in the last update, I believe. So yeah, you can just like check all your stuff before going down to ta attack. And you can even request for troops, but my clan castle is already full. And another quick note, where our clan is now level 5, as you can see, that's awesome. So anyways, uh, now I'm going to go and show you some developer footage, guys. Okay guys, so this is some developer footage of the new update. So first, let's check out the poison spell here. So basically, um, you can these now poison defending troops such as heroes and clan castle troops. So that's awesome. Uh, and as you can see, it's doing some damage to that level ten queen over there. So it's doing something. But then that's not doing that much. It took about like twenty percent health. But say you drop all of those other six poison spells, like you're really crazy. Um, 
it will just like drain through that Archer Queen's health really fast. Um, although I'm not sure who would carry like that many spells. Although this does open up a whole new world to trolls who will just like carry like all poison spells and like take out your heroes. But anyways, moving on. So more seriously now, um, what I think the poison spell will be used most for is for taking out clan castle troops as you can see there. So we're luring out those clan castle troops and uh, um, we drop a P.E.K.K.A. and then we just drop a poison spell and it like soup really quickly gets rid of those barbarians but the dragon it's taking a long time to die as you can see there and and it's taking some damage from the spell uh took some damage and now is the earthquake spell so this spell it's interesting it does a percentage of damage to buildings so see it took like 15 percent of the tunnel's health and by the way that animation is boss <laughs> But yeah, it only does percentage damage, not like an actual number of damage. Say we drop it on this builder's hut. Um, we drop it there and see it does, again, 15% damage. So it's percentage. And yeah, again, you can see that awesome animation. Love it. Those cracks on the ground. It's really cool. Um, so that is really cool. That is a really cool spell. Although it's not that useful unless I mean for taking out buildings although they do say you can use it to like um, take out the remaining health of a building with very little hit points left so that could be interesting to see but that overall seems like an okay spell so now we're just gonna see uh, the developers attack using goipe uh, and using and we'll see how we can use the spell in like an actual strategy so we like drop these spells to um, just weaken the spot and see how much damage it does to walls yes it does like double damage or something to walls um because look at those level 11 walls those are level 11 walls with 7,000 hit points and you saw that it went down to like half health that's amazing so these spells definitely have an extra effect on walls um that's really cool and if you notice those archer towers are shooting faster now they're really trying to like nerf the weaker troops um by making uh, Archer Towers shoot faster. And yep, they use the po poison spell to take out the clan castle tro troops and help with that defending Barb King. And the earthquake spell that we that they dropped earlier to um like help weaken the spot. Oh well, it's doing it did something. I guess the golems are having an easier time in there, but overall it didn't seem to do that much. But to the walls it did some, but then the problem is they used a jump spell, so it was kinda useless. But so this earthquake spell is gonna be interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the use, what use it has. Uh, if you guys have any better uses, you can comment down below. But definitely the poison spell is gonna be my favorite. It's really awesome. Uh, that is a really good one. So yeah, the poison spell is gonna be a key spell. And yeah, now this developer attack is wrapping up. Um, the Archer Queen is just shooting something over there, and the witches are just doing their own thing. And in a second, this attack should end. Um, let's see when they end it. I forgot when they ended. Um, let's see. So the attacks is going on. They're just taking more elixir. And yep, they ended it. And this is one of the best parts of the update. No more zapping. Yep. So earthquake spells do no damage to storages, although they still do damage to collectors, mines, and jewels, but no damage to storages whatsoever. That is awesome, finally. And yep, lightning spells, as you can see, no damage to those storages. They just have a force field around them. Although I do think that the storages should be able to like somehow like uh, take damage, but the loot won't go in them because in clan wars especially it might help, but. Oh, I, I, this works too, I guess. Um, can't have everything in life, I guess. Okay, anyways, let's just surrender. Um, by the way, this is all developer footage, so thank you to the developers for this footage. And now, this is another spell, um, the haste spell. So what it does is it speeds up your troops like way more than a rage spell would. Like, look at the haste spell versus the rage spell, so much faster. Although the haste spell does not give an extra damage boost to the troops, only speed. But it's much faster than a rage spell. 
because after all the level one haste spell it actually does um as much speed increase as a level five rage spell so imagine a level four max haste spell you saw how much speeding up it did to giants um so that's really cool now let's see with balloons in a second um so we're gonna drop a haste spell there and a rage spell there and now let's see the balloons Look at those balloons through the haste spell. They're just zooming through. Um, so that's going to be really cool. It's going to help combat this air sweeper. The second air sweeper that I told you guys about earlier. It's really going to help with that. And by the way, remember level 5 dragons as I said earlier. So anyways, now we'll just see a developer attack with the haste spell. So they're using a 12 balloon, 9 dragon, um, and their heroes. And one haste spell to help speed up those balloons. As you can see, they're not doing any extra damage, but the haste is really helping get them in there. And yep, drops three lightning spells. As you can see, no damage on the storages whatsoever. Awesome. And now he's just dropping the four balloons to check for some traps. And then two level five dragons on each side. They look boss. Yeah, those new colors look really cool. Um, and by the way, actually now level 4 dragons are unlocked at Tunnel 9. They moved that down. That's cool for Tunnel 9s, I guess. Um, could bring back dragon attacking at Tunnel 9. Who knows? So anyway, see so if those dragons are speeding through the core there. And um, they're taking out that clan castle really fast. And then they're burning through that defending king. Drop another rage spell. Um, because at the same time, the rage spell is also important for the extra damage that it gives. So I think the haste spell would be used mostly with balloons. Because balloons already have such good damage, and it's just that they're super slow. So I think it would really work then. Now let's see an Aquatra Lava, or a 3 Lava Hound attack. So yep, we dropped those haste spells. Look how fast those Lava Hounds are moving in really fast. And yep, and in second, the balloons will also, yeah, look how fast the balloons are moving in. They're like, they're moving in super fast. And this attack has no heroes, by the way, as you can see. Um, so anyways, he drops a Rage spell, and... So they're going in, all the troops. And anyways, let me explain this whole housing space concept of spell, housing space for spells concept now. So, normal elixir spells take up two housing space in the spell factory, and dark elixir spells take up one housing space in the spell factory. So basically how this works is that at tunnel 8, you get nine spells, and at seven spell space, and at tunnel 9, you get... 9 spell space and a tunnel 10 you get 11 spell space so basically in the end you're getting 11 spell space at the final level tunnel 10 so at that point you could carry for example say um all one of each like five no normal spells and then one poison spell or something like that or you could like switch it around and do something else like Something different, like you know, maybe all dark spells. Although that'd be kind of weird, um, because you still need stuff like free spells and all that kind of stuff. So, some stuff are still important. Uh, elixir spells aren't totally outdated, but they do have their own uses and their own disadvantages. So I think this is going to bring a lot more strategy to the game. This update, it's going to be really cool, and um, it's going to be really awesome. So, by the way. You, another thing is that um, my tunnel 9, I do have all my storages filled, well, my gold storage filled, and my dark elixir storage has more than enough for the Archer Queen, and the elixir storage is not totally filled, but for the stuff that I'm planning to upgrade at tunnel 9, the spell factory, and the laboratory, I think it's good. So, yeah guys, this update is boss, and um, I can't wait to get my Archer Queen, all that stuff. Try them out and see how boss they are with the new update. So yeah guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more Clash of Clans content. And I will see you guys later.